Well, in today's video, we're going to come out here and call to mulch this and then throw some fast maturing soybeans in it. Sitting at about 6.5 pH, about 90 pounds to the acre in potash. We're good to go. Oh, and a crop update. See if we're knee high 24th of July. Well, I would say the corn is not only doing well, it's doing great. Nice dark green color, about three and a half weeks old, not even quite a half week, but three weeks and three days old. And uh, we're knee high, 24th of July. <laughs> but I think this guy, I think, you know, somebody was saying, well, you just won't get as thick as stalks. We're gonna see, man. We're gonna see. This corn is banging. I mean, it, 85 day. I, 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 I don't think there's gonna be a problem with stocks at all. Hey, see, right there. I mean, it's knee high. Oh yeah. yeah you come back in a month. This will be over well over my head six seven foot tall all right well i got her all greased up rear axles called a mulcher we're gonna be wheels up today and level it out throw the bird in the air see if we can get rid of those ridges
I've had these hubners sitting here for about, I don't know, a month or so. It's time to get them in the ground. There's about 10 units here. We're going to plant five acres. And I'm going to throw about eight units in the ground. Now that's going to come to... A, that's 140,000 seeds. I'm going to put about a unit and a half in the ground. We're looking at roughly 200,000 seeds. This late, I think you get a little better stand. You stand a chance to get a better stand. And all I do is I take these units in the bag and throw them in the back until I get to the field and then dump them in the, the bin. The only time I may, might not do that is if I had so many, like I've had, I think I've put 23 units in there before and yeah, and then I put the seed in, but yep, I'll take them out to the field, dump them in and then burn the bags right in place. Yes, that is what I like to see. Nice, flat, fairly level brown. Seed to soil should be even. Depth of planting should be even, which with soybeans, you go one inch. That's it, not two, not three. One inch. If you're one inch even on all of them, and I think this is about 90% germination rate tested, so. 90% of the seeds should all come up at the same time. We got rain coming tomorrow, in fact, all weekend. So it's gonna get a good dose of water. The ground temperature is very warm. Soybeans do best at 60 degrees Fahrenheit at 9 a.m. Soil temperature, one inch down, which is where the seed is. So yeah, the, the Calder Mulcher did a nice job, got rid of the ruts. You might still have, you know, something here and there, but nothing to speak of. I would feel completely comfortable dropping a soybean head, a bean head, flex head, and just floating it with a little bit of the contour and getting every bean. Now, I don't do that. I think it's kind of lazy, uh, lazy picking. What I do is I come up about four inches. Your beans don't start till you know, six, eight, ten inches, sometimes up the stalk anyways. And I like a tall stalk. I like a medium to tall stalk because they're easier to combine and you don't have to get down. Uh, reasonably rock free. If while planting we see a rock, I will get off and pick it up. We might find two, I, I might find zero. But uh, let's, let's get off and talk because there's some controversy going on with some nitrogen implantation into the soil for next year's corn crop. McGee Homestead Adventures has opened up a can of worms. And that can consists of what puts more nitrogen into the ground prior to a corn year, planting corn the following year. He seems to think crimson clover is the ticket. I think soybeans. Now, from my research and best recollection, soybeans are gonna leave you the following year about 15 pounds of nitrogen, plus or minus a couple. That ain't too bad. It's free nitrogen, ready to use for your corn plant. Now, having said that, you're gonna still have to add quite a bit of nitrogen. But he says, put crimson clover in, turn that under, and boom, no chemical fertilizer. I'm gonna leave a link down below his channel. You go give him a peace of mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let him know what you think, soybeans or crimson clover prior to plant corn the following year. Well, there you go. That's your seed, treated seed. And a lot of people will debate and say, ah, oh, treated seed, you're just wasting money. Well, I didn't waste a penny because this is the same price as the untreated, so I got the treated. I was like, wait a minute. They're like, yeah, I'm like, treated. But uh, this is seven units in here. And uh, this will even out. This is just one unit going across there, two. And there's three and then three. And, uh, you know, even if I have to get off the tractor every once in a while to check and move stuff out. It's nice to have a rider on his boardwalk back here with a broom. Or even something like that, a, a broken tea stake, just to keep stuff going that way. But, yeah, there you go. Treated seed, 2-1, Hubner's, not Hubner. Oh, the mighty M. Sounding good. This is the third time I've had it out this year been on it like blue bonnet not i this is 
here's the original tractor on the channel. And let's uh, figure out the hydraulics. Let's drop her down. That's going to do it. I don't know, second gear. Yep, that works for me. That works for me. I'm going to hug this line here as I'm slamming some beans in. things to do is plant. By that time the field's all smooth, you're not getting rocked. And some positives going down. Another reason I like to use treated seed is because I stop and check my openers and bright pink is a lot easier to see than kind of a tan. And we're dropping across the board. Let's go, let's grow.
way and I'm planting against it so there's no missing spots. I do overlap just a little bit. I have plenty of seeds so I'm not worried about that. Um, you can get away with that with soybeans real easily and you just get a thicker stand is all. So it works out pretty good. This is the part where you get off the tractor and you just take whatever. Usually I use a broom, but I think somebody's borrowed it permanently. It just hasn't made it back yet. But uh, yeah, just keep the seeds even and keep right on a rolling.